And uh, so as I was driving up the highway today, I thought, you know, people would pass me and I was driving 45 mile an hour and it made me feel really Amish. Um, here's a song about two Amish guys. It's long. About halfway through it, I'll probably have to pick up the tempo. Maybe not. Here's the story of a Levi Weaver, an Amish boy dressed in black and blue. He had no buttons and he had no zippers, high water trousers and the clock kicking shoes. He had a wanny hitched to the harness of his daddy's buggy, he was ready to go. He had some business in the town of Summerton, sell some chickens and some cottage cheese. Take the money to the local hardware, buy a hammer and some tin pennies. On the way home, stop at McDonald's, maybe. Watch them tourists as they come and they go. Saturday morning, dawn bright and sunny. A good day to be a clopping down the road. Eyes out for some honest honey. Group of spring, I got some oats to sow. Daddy don't know that he stopped at Elder Beer. Men scored a couple samples of some men's cologne. Up ahead he saw another buggy look like Cousin Emmanuel. He ticked away to go a little bit faster, pulled alongside so that he could tell. Emmanuel, he looked a little red-eyed, said he found some whiskey and his daddy didn't know. Emmanuel, he had a tricked out buggy, red reflectors on the rear view mirrors. No fenders and the top painted snow white. A Mitchy Schlock Kinder Bog, and that was clear. He had a boom box jamming in the floorboard, and Betty Yoder sitting oh so close. Side by side down Highway 21, just outside of the county seat. Stride for stride from a Galaku, giddy up, blinder to blinder, and beat for beat. Oh, Levi knew better than anyone An Amish boy's got a need for speed <laughs> Betty Yoder looked as pretty as a picture Sitting in that buggy in the morning sun Levi winked, Emmanuel saw it He said, hey, what was that, you Amish son of a gun? He said, Levi said, I'm a little bit faster I think Betty'd rather ride with me yeah, the gauntlet had been laid down. <laughs> Purdy Betty, she giggled just a little. Emmanuel, he got red around the gills. Levi was taking his half out of the middle. They were trading paint up over that hill. Whips are cracking, neither one are backing down. Chicken's cackling, and don't forget the cottage cheese. Side by side down Highway 21, just outside of the county seat. Stride for stride from a gallop to a giddy up, blinder to blinder and beat for beat. Oh, Levi knew better than anyone, an Amish boy's got a need for speed. Emmanuel, he had a horse named Theodore, three-time champion at the county fair. He cracked the whip wanting just a little bit more, but he couldn't pull alongside of Levi's mare. Neck and neck and headed for the S-curve in an oncoming Chevy that neither one saw. Horse and buggy followed horse and buggy down the embankment through the barbed wire fence. Three Amish pedals with their pedals to the metal And pretty Betty screaming like she had no sense The sheriff said he'd never seen nothing like it Three Amish kids covered with mud and blood And chicken feathers and cottage cheese Smelling a little bit like whiskey And a whole lot like body odor Mixed with some sort of fancy men's club <laughs> They 
They buried Theodore out in the cornfield. Now he's fertilizer pushing up Silver Queen. Emmanuel and Betty, they finally got married. They just bought him a brand new refrigerator that runs on kerosene. Emmanuel, he's somewhere out on the hay wagon note. Levi, somewhere out on the hay wagon. Silhouetted by the Amish autumn night with bragging rights. That's a story of a Levi Weaver. He made Emmanuel a new believer. I read about it in the local paper. That's a story of a Levi Weaver. 